Arr, shiver me timbers. It's the top 85 games for the BBC Micro. In at number 67, it's Pirate. We will forgive all of the various pirate puns that are no doubt going to pepper this particular video. Pieces of eight, etc, etc. So, this game is an original game for the BBC Micro. Um, it was released by Chalksoft, uh, so it probably comes under the category of um, what would loosely be called an educational game. Uh, so there were quite a few of these back in the day, uh, in the 80s, because obviously the BBC Micro was pioneered as much as anything else as being part of the government's BBC computer literacy project and uh, there was a BBC in many classrooms throughout throughout the country and uh, there were software companies like Ch Chalksoft who created these educational games uh, possibly the most famous of uh, such games is Granny's Garden which uh, we will be looking at in due course um, but in this video we're going to be looking at Chalksoft's Pirate so stay tuned all right, me arties, let's be loading her up. There we are. So, pirate. You are the captain of a pirate ship. Um, so this is a game that actually comes in two parts. Uh, the first part is about uh, navigating your ship around various islands and picking up jewels and points and mysterious items. And we use the function keys, interestingly enough, to navigate. So, here we go. Isn't that jolly? Of course, uh, you may start to become slightly tired of that music after a while because, believe it or not, it comes up rather a lot. Uh, we're going to go with quiet sounds just so it doesn't over overbear with what, uh, what the commentary I'm providing over the top. There we go. That's a little bit quieter than the uh, the intro music. Okay. There you go. Nice little blocky uh, splash screen there. Right. We're not going to bother with the instructions because uh, we know what I'm doing. Um, we are. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with the adventure. Here we are. Here's our pirate ship. So uh, we've got a hundred points, no jewels, and no flags. Um, and uh, these are our available directions. Now the game starts off at a random point in uh, the um, the high seas, uh, so we don't know exactly where we've started. So basically, all you have to do is just um, sail around and, and uh, try and see what you can get up to. Uh, so nothing to s nothing but sea in all directions. So let's uh, let's go west. Let's see what happens. Ah, another day is food and water. Lose two points. Yes. Yeah, so your points are obviously something that you collect, but you also spend them uh, to keep your crew alive. Oh dear, we're becalmed. That means we're going to lose a day sailing and another ten points. Ooh, not a good start. Okay, lookout report, nothing but see, see, ah, and now lo and behold, we found an island. Let's go and explore. Ah, look at that. This is Treasure Island, Captain. Good food and water, so to give us a few more points. There we are. And uh, anything else, perhaps, on Treasure Island? Ooh, a strange old man. Oh my goodness. We fight him and pin him to the ground. Shall we feed him to the fishes, Captain? Well, given that this was a children's educational game, I'm going to suggest that no. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. I wasn't meant to do that. Oh, dear. <laughs> I got my function keys mixed up. Well, that was brief. <laughs> um, that honestly wasn't planned. Uh, I... Uh, I, I... <laughs> I was expecting to do a bit more than that. Okay, well, let's try that again. Um, maybe, maybe we'll have slightly better success next time. Now, of course, we're going to be starting at a random position, but uh, yes, you see, look, we can see coast now this time. Um, I'm still going to go west, though, I think. So uh, we'll see whether we can get... Oh, okay, similar story to last time. Losing two points. Yeah, okay. What, what happens next? Are we going to be becalmed as well? Oh, no, not quite. Report from the mate. Ah, this time we've got some trade winds in our favour. Excellent stuff. Uh, oh, no, still more just coast, coast, coast. So uh, let's, let's try sailing further out to sea and see whether we get any better. Okay. Report from the mate. Oh, we have to repair leaks in the hull. Lose 17 points. Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Goodness, not, not not doing too well here. Uh, okay, uh, let's try sailing south, shall we? 
whether or not we get any better. Oh no, another loot, another two points. Oh dear, such a shame that we uh, we we died so quickly on the uh, previous attempt because uh, I think Treasure Island would have given us uh, a good a good start to this game. Okay, well we got another six points there from the trade winds. Uh, okay, let's keep going south. See whether or not we get anywhere. Okay, so at this point you might be thinking, hmm, seems a little bit a little bit tedious. But uh, the point of this game is it's uh, it's as much about sort of exploring as anything else. Ooh, something funny has happened. Mutiny! Oh dear. The, the crew, the, it looks a bit like a ZX Spectrum loading screen, actually. Uh, the crew are revolting. Well, yes, indeed they are. Uh, they have captured the mate and taken over the ship. Well, well, well. Now, I think if I've got 50 points, I'm able... Yep, there we go. I'm able to retake the ship. Okay. Well, that's dealt with the scurvy dogs. Bravely done, Captain. Excellent stuff. The ship is yours again. Well, jolly good. I don't think I had to spend the 50 points. I think I just had to have more than 50 points. Uh, hopefully that's uh, that's all good now. All right. Oh, no, I know I did have to spend the 50 points. Gosh, well, I'm not doing very well here. No jewels, no flags, and 37 points. Goodness. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, maybe we'll just keep going south for the time being. I do hope that we'll find at least another island, because otherwise this is going to be quite uh, quite a dull outing for this game. Uh, it is genuinely more interesting than just sailing around and being at sea. Ah, here we go. Well, this is good. So we're, uh, we, we've uh, spotted another ship on the high seas. And uh, we're going to be given the option now as to whether we want to take her. So here we go. Do we want to give chase? Yes, we do. Ah, we've caught up with the ship. You don't always catch up with it. Sometimes if you give chase, it uh, doesn't, doesn't actually let you catch up. But uh, this time we've caught up. So I think what will happen now is we will attempt to board it. Report from the mate. What's going to happen? We beat the dogs! There you go. Splendid stuff. Now this should give us some points and some jewels and a flag, actually. Now the flags come in quite useful if you get marooned on a desert island, which can happen if you lose one of these fights. So if you take on a ship and lose, they maroon you on an island, and if you don't have any flags, then you can't signal for another ship to come and rescue you. So they do come in handy. Ah, excellent! We found an island. Right, so let's go east. Ah, it's Cat Island. There we go. Welcome to Cat Island. On the beach there is a strange cat. It does indeed look quite strange. Uh, will you land on the island? Well, look at this. The sailors are afraid. Don't be silly. It's only a cat. The cat comes up to you. Seems to be hungry. Will you feed the cat? Yes, of course. Very wise, Captain. Ah, oh, it turns out it's a magic cat. In return for your food, she will tell you a secret. It's a talking cat as well, apparently. Oh, my name is Inky. There you go. Now, that's interesting. I've When I've played this game before, the, uh, the cat's name has actually been something else. I think it was Dusky the last time I played it. Don't forget the name, Captain. Yes, indeed. So uh, this uh, this cat's name is actually the password to get to part two, but uh, you can't you can't get to part two until you've uh, got sufficient points, jewels, and items. Uh, will you take the magic cat? Yes, because uh, it comes in handy to uh, to deal with the rats on the ship, which is another hazard that you can randomly encounter. There we go. The cat tells you that her master is a king. He's been imprisoned on an unknown island. She asks you to find and rescue him. He is somewhere in part two. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I think that's it for Cat Island. Meanwhile, oh no, hang on. We've got some more. The cat gives you, ah, 30 points and 40 jewels. Well, that's jolly generous, isn't it? There we are. So we take the cat back to the ship and we continue on our journey. Now, basically, the only other thing that you can do in part one, uh, other than obviously sail around somewhat aimlessly, um, is obviously you can find other islands. I think there's about... Two, there's Dragon Island, Treasure Island, Cat Island, and I think there's a couple of just random nothing islands. Um, oh, another ship. And yes, basically you need to uh, you need to get the various items from each of the islands, collect enough points and jewels. I think it's 300 points and a minimum of about 30 jewels, and then you 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 qualify to go through to part two. Yes, we'll give chase. Um, so yes, that's really all there is. Oh, look, see that one was too fast. She's getting away. Never mind. 
Um, the only other thing you can do is find safe harbour. So um, when you see those indications of a coast uh, in the directions, uh, oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get to uh, the safe harbour so you can see what that looks like. Ah, oh, yes, this is the uh, the hazard, of course. In attempting to get to the coast, you can end up on the rocks, which is uh, not where you want to be. Uh, ooh, we've got a bit of a choice here. So let's go... I wonder if it's north or south. Let's go south. There we go, safe harbour. Lovely stuff. And you get 50 points for that. And you also get the opportunity to use some jewels to buy a few more points as well. Um, which is, it seems to be a random allocation of jewels to points. You always get 10 points, but uh, it costs you a varying amount of jewels. Okay, so, I mean, I think we've pretty much seen all there is to see in part one. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of crafty editing and uh, speed us forward into part two. So bear with me while I do that. Okay, so here we are. I've uh, given it the name of the cat. Um, we've now moved into part two. So I think we just start the adventure again and uh, it automatically loads up part two, which is rather exciting. Nope, more of the jingle. I did tell you you'd be hearing quite a lot of it in this video. There we are. Copyright chalks off. Nice little bit of in-game advertising once again. I'll forgive it on this occasion. Okay. We can do anything at this point. If it's just... All right, yep, all right. Yep. Just press one again. Okay, so the game slightly changes in part two. Uh, so we're no longer sailing around the high seas. Um, as you can see, these are the items we got from part one: magic sword, the key, and the magic cat. And uh, now what we're left with is a sort of island adventure. So it sort of turns into a ground-based game at this point. So uh, well, there's only one direction we can go in. So let's go north. Um, yes, and so from here it, it sort of turns into a more conventional uh, text adventure um, with some teletext graphics uh, to go with it. Um, yeah, so basically you just wander around the island, uh, explore the island, um, at various points you get to use your various items. I think if I can remember correctly, you, you, you managed to save the king. Um, I think you also take on Blackbeard the pirate, if I'm not mistaken. Um, fairly sure that you encounter his gang of pirates on the island at least there we go still walking along so you can see your strength your points have now been replaced with strength um i don't know if you're restricted to a set number of moves but it keeps track of how many moves you've made and uh yes it's um well i mean this is pretty much all there is to it so it's as i say a pretty, pretty typical text adventure stuff but with the added um challenge of having uh, a strength meter so you have to make sure you keep your strength up. I think you can do things like eat apples and bananas along the way. Um, doesn't hasn't given us the option to do that just yet. Um, but yes, I mean this is this is pretty much um, all there is to pirate. This is you know as a sort of combination text adventure with graphics and a little bit of uh, humour and um, joviality along the way. I think it's uh, I think it's a really cute game. Really, I mean it's obviously not up there with the sort of arcade classics and it's not <laughs> not exactly thrill a minute. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I've kind of got a soft spot for it, I have to say. I mean, I obviously played it as a child and when I think it was one of those games that would inspire, I guess, more in the imagination than what you could see on the screen. Ooh, look at that. Um, and I mean, you know, it's got a few nice, uh, nice touches to it. There are, you know, there's a fair amount of, um, I guess, randomness to the game. You know, you can be struck by lightning, as it says here. Um, but you've also got things like, oh, it just missed me. Well, isn't that, that's fortunate. Um, you've also got things like, you know, random ships um, that turn up on the high seas. And, you know, sometimes you take them, sometimes you don't. Uh, you know, there are occasions where you, you lose. Um, and it always, all seems to be fairly random. So it's got a nice, it's got a nice level of randomness to it to keep it interesting. Um, and I think, you know, as a kid in particular, it, it's a good fun game. I could imagine it being the sort of classroom game that, you know, teachers would have used to teach kids about, you know, the sort of pirate era. I mean, it was a fairly, uh, oh dear, I think I've fallen off the cliff. <laughs> well, that might be the end of pirate. Yes. <laughs> well, I didn't do too well on part two. Well, I did about as well on part two as I did the first time around on part one, actually. Um, yeah, so I think, I think we'll, uh... I think we'll call it a day with Pirate there. Um, oh dear, Captain snuffed it again. <laughs> I like the again. <laughs> it's obviously keeping track. Um, oh, it gives you a little outcome there for the number of moves, strengths, and lives lost. 
Um, I don't know if it actually lets you just carry on or not, actually, from that point. Or I, I think you might have to restart part two. Yeah, looks like it. Well, I'm going to say we're going to finish playing Pirate for, for now. Uh, you cannot start again on part two if you finish now. Yes, these are the, uh, the obviously, the, the drawbacks of the, uh, the old-style games where everything's all loaded into memory. Are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're going to get the, the jolly music once again. There we are. So, Pirate Copyright from Chalksoft. There you are. A nice little uh, educational game. Um, I think it's worthy of its entry in the rankings. You know, I didn't bring it in t too high up in the list, but uh, it definitely, uh, definitely deserves its place, and it is, it is a good fun game. Uh, clearly aimed at children, obviously. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it brought back some memories for some of you that may have played this uh, in your in your school as a, as a child. Um, and if not, it it's worth digging out just for a laugh. Uh, you know, it is it is it is uh, it is fairly entertaining stuff. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, hopefully for the next video. Until then, goodbye.